everyone, Christine here to make a box opening video for a Sleepy Sheepy's Dreams Sheepy. This is an MSD sized doll. I ordered her about a year ago and she finally shipped, I think sometime like two weeks ago and arrived to me on Friday of last week. But I was sick and I didn't open her and I haven't gotten around to doing that until today, which is Wednesday of the following week. Now, I also had a pair of um, eyes that I had ordered with her. I don't know if they shipped with her. I hope so, because I was waiting for those for over a year. And um, just want to make sure that they're in here. So there will be dolly nudity. Um, I already see a little sticker here that's a little bit uh, nude. So yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right, nothing in here. Let's see what we got. Bloop. All right. So we have a couple of little goodies here. I'll check those out in a second. These must be the... Um, hooves and all that other stuff. Oh, oh, this is cute. A little extra, another goodie. And then here is Sheepy. Oh, what a pretty little blanket she comes in. All right, let's check her out. Do you like my hoodie? I hope the answer is yes. <laughs> Starting to get chilly here in Illinois. I had forgotten what color I ordered her in, but I suppose that I ordered her in some kind of cocoa skin. But to be honest, it was so long ago, I have no idea. So yeah, dolly nudity coming up. Bloop. All right. I really honestly do not remember what color I ordered her in, but clearly this is the color. It wouldn't matter anyway, whichever one works. Stop playing with that Kai. Oh yeah, I got a new cat. I know you guys want to know. Okay, so she has magnetic feet. Cool, cool, and clearly she has magnetic hands. Oh check those in a second let me move this over actually you know what let me put her here so these must be the eyes that i ordered from lemon jelly shop which um they changed their name but that's the shop <clears throat> um but i ordered them a really really long time ago and it um, ended up being where I just was like, well, go ahead and ship them with the doll since they live together. And it was just easier to wait. Okay, so we got a little thank you card. Dear Sheepy Parents, this was uh, June 2020. We are in October, October, what's today, the 28th. Uh, it is an honor that you have chosen to add a sheepy doll to your collection. By doing so, you are supporting my art to grow and blossom. For this, I deeply thank you, sheepy. All right, and then I have some eyes, a little uh, snack here. I don't know if this is like something that comes with a doll, but these must be the eyes that I ordered. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh yeah, that's my new cat right there. Hopefully you can see him. Stamp. Yes, he's another Sphinx. I ordered some six millimeter eyes. Oh my God, they're so small. I almost didn't know what they were. Uh, I don't have a doll that takes six millimeter eyes, but um, over a year ago when I ordered these, I was going to give them to my friend. And uh, that didn't work out, so now I just have six millimeter eyes. All right. Who doesn't want random six millimeter eyes? Really, Kai? Come on. 
You probably don't want to be around me when I have sharp objects in my hands. You are a sharp object. Don't step on my doll. Okay, what do we have here? No, stop! Okay, so we have her horns. I'll take those out. If I'm not mistaken, this doll was hand sculpted by Sheepy, so just a little pointer if you're, you know, interested in getting her. You can only get her through uh, Sleepy Sheepy's Dreams. Are you for reals right now? Are you for reals? No. Oh, see, I don't want to put my hand on your little oily body. Oh, move. Oh, wow. These are cool. So she comes with uh, her little hoof feet slash shoes. Very cute. And they have a little rose sculpted on the side, which is very nice. What do we have in here? I don't even know what comes with the doll anymore because it's been, it's been so long. That's the thing with uh, just collecting dolls, right? Like dolls like this is they're handmade. So they take a long time. And then by the time that you get them, it's like a year later. <laughs> and it's a little bit crazy, you know? That's uh, what being a collector is half about. So she also comes with um, heel feet and heel shoes. That's a nice little addition to her flat feet. I bet she's gonna look so cute with these uh, heel feet and these heel shoes, especially once I get around to painting them because that would look really awesome. Okay, and I don't know what's in here, so. Oh, extra hands, cool. Very nice. Oh, well, not extra hands. I guess they're the hands, right? Because she didn't have her hands on. Bloop. They're so pretty. They're very delicate looking. All right, so let's check out the doll now that I have everything on my table. So here is what she looks like. Now, I'll have pictures at the end like I always do, um, but I always try to show off the doll here as well. Um, her hands seem to be a little uh, strange, <laughs> and I can't pull this out for some reason, so I'm going to need to figure that out. What's going on here? Wait a sec. Oh, she's, she's wired. That's why. I see. Okay, so I guess um, Sheepy wired her, and because she wired her, her hands move at the same time until I pose them. Okay, that makes sense. All right, great. Um, here is the inside of her head. It says Sheepy, and it has a heart in the back of the head. Then on the back of the actual outside of the head, she has this little, I would say a little bit smaller than a quarter sized um, stamp looking thing made of resin. It's a little bit um, like slightly turned. It's not perfectly straight, but you know, that's fine. So it says Sheepy Dolls on it. Well, let's move down. So she is a two part torso and Let's see, she can lean forward like so. Let's see how much she can lean back, a lot. She has a small little wedge right here. This thing is like totally all up in my face. See, I was trying to be cute by wearing it, but really. There we go, all right, I'm better. I hope my hair doesn't look like crap, right? Cause like, you know when you have a hat on and you take the hat off and, okay, anyway. <clears throat> So she moves back quite a bit so she can keep her poses. I don't think she needed wiring for that because I think she just has a good posing body. Um, she is wired in here as well. So she does have a, a wire. So here's how she would sit. I will get to the hands in a minute. I just wanted to show that. 
she can't lean forward when she sits because her booty would have a space there and that would look super weird. Are you kidding me? Stamp! Stamp! You... Oh my gosh. He just bit a hole in my box. You know, us collectors, we actually keep the boxes. Are you for reals right now? Kai, you're such a pain. All right. Let's see um, the hands. No. Stamp. 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 All right. I swear I'll get through this. Anyway. Um, hmm. This hand's not on all the way. I just noticed that. Not sure why. Whatever, it sticks. That's good enough for me, right? Um, it's a little bit, like, off the base, but whatevs. So she has um, her double joint peanut here. And if I put her hand folded, because of the wiring in it, I can tell that it's only because of the wiring in it. Um, she will keep her pose. I'm telling you it's only because of the wire because... I'm looking at the peanut and the peanut's actually moving like back and forth, which means that it's on the wire and the wire is actually what's keeping it in place. But anyway, that's okay. The, the point is that she does indeed uh, keep her pose. Let's see, she can cover her mouth or face or whatever, like so. I have three cats over here. I wish I could like move the camera so that you guys can see how ridiculous this looks stop it's just a box you know sheepy if you're watching this they smell whatever animal is in your house just saying all right i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to pay attention but it's so hard when i'm distracted by three cats stop <laughs> everybody's gonna dislike this video she didn't even she didn't even pay attention to the doll. She was busy paying attention to her cats. All right, anyway, let's put the legs down, hands to the back, and let's try folding these knees. So first of all, yes, there is a, wow, that's, that's a pretty good wire. <laughs> um, there is a wire in it. So that keeps a lot of the posing by itself. This is as far as her leg will fold. So I'm pushing it up and it doesn't go any further even with the wire. I imagine because of this bump right here. Um, let's see. Is she suede? I think she might even be suede. That's crazy. Wow. Sheepy did a lot of work for me. Yeah, she, she has a hot glue suede down here, I can see. So anyway. If I try to, let's see, just fold the leg like this, I can. I can fold it like that, again, because of the wiring, but it looks really weird. So if uh, you didn't have pants on, that wouldn't be a pose you would probably keep her in, right? There we go. And then as for the um, ankle, it does turn quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can see this, hopefully you can. So it can turn like this, and it can turn like this. And then as for side to side, probably not much. Usually dolls don't, but since she's suede, she's probably able to move a little more than normal. Yeah. So that's pretty good, which means that she should be able to... She should... She should... Stop! <laughs> she should... <laughs> She should be able to stand. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, this is why I haven't had any videos lately. I'm constantly distracted. I'm a teacher, by the way. I act just like this with the kids. Let's see. Well, first of all, I gotta make sure this is on and then turn it this way. Okay, great. And then, oh, I see. See, the suading is just too good, and I can't get her feet to turn. So now that I have them in this position, they should be able to stand up. Right? Okay, great. Ta-da! I did it! Now, the question is, can she stand with uh, 
these hoof feet on this obviously crappy table? Let's find out. The magnets are pretty good, by the way. It's a pet peeve of mine when uh, I get a doll that has magnet pieces and um, they don't work <laughs> or they're really bad. Hmm. There's a piece of glue here that I imagine is for suading purposes. However, it's making it very difficult to get this foot on. And I don't want to rip off the glue, but part of me wants to rip off the glue. I should probably put on her little cute horns. There we go. Oh my God, they're so adorable. All right, let's see if she will stand with these feet that um, have a little bit of glue in them. Oh my god, wait, oh my, well, I was gonna say, oh my gosh, it works right away, but let's see. It's a little bit more difficult, again, because um, the feet aren't completely in. They are partially in because of the hot glue that is stuck in one of them. I can probably get her to stand. I just can't right this moment. Nope. All right, so up, oh, I got it. Okay, great. So again, this table is really bad. Like it's super wobbly. It's definitely not straight. So I'm sure she can stand on a regular table much easier than it just took me to do that. But she can stand. So, yay. All right. Um, I will take some pictures for you guys to see all of the parts and what they look like. And I'll have to figure out what skin color I ordered because I don't even know, to be honest, what this is. I'm assuming it's called like cocoa or something or chocolate. I have no idea, but um, yeah, she's very, very cute. I like her. I like her joints and I'm super happy that Chibi took the time to suede her and um, wire her and all that stuff. Things that if it was up to me, I just, I would not do it because I don't really know enough about taking apart a doll or not taking apart a doll or whatever I'm supposed to whatever I'm supposed to do with a doll to get it wired so that's gonna make her pose a lot better anyway sorry for all of the cat activity behind me and I will have pictures at the end thank you for watching